Today I'm going to show you how to print with feathers. Right, first thing I do is I'm going to cut up some plastic. This is actually an x-ray plate. I find x-ray plates pretty cool to print with. You could use dry point plates I guess. But this is a bit thinner. Any sort of acetate would work. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting a pattern. This time it's sort of a zigzaggy pattern. It doesn't really matter what pattern you cut for this process. So there's my zigzag shape. So I ink up the main plate, the background plate if you like. I'm doing that with sort of bluey purple. And now with a magenta, I'm going over the zigzag bit. It's always a bit tricky to ink these bits up. I'm using an ink that uh, is water soluble. So you can see there I've put the zigzag shape on top of the purple plate. I'm now popping the feather down carefully on that. And then I just shove a piece of paper over that and run that through the press. This is not the print, this is just transferring the ink to the feather. Uh, the paper, that's not important because that's not the print. This is our printing plate now, it's a feather. The feather is coated with ink. We now sit this on a piece of paper and we run that through the press. Everything else up to this point has just been about getting the colour onto the feather. The other interesting thing is the feathers themselves look kind of cool. And it's back through the press again, this time to make our print. So that's what my first feather print looks like. This time I've dampened the paper. So if, what you can see here is the word bird. I'm doing it again, this time using orange and a bit more of a purpley colour. So I've put the word bird the right way around. Because this is being transferred to the feather. So once I run that through the press, it will transfer the word bird the wrong way around on the feather, back to front, which will be the right way around for printing. So always remember this first initial print going through is just to transfer the ink onto the feather. Once you've run that through the press, you have the ink on the feather, you then put the feather onto your piece of paper, dampen paper, run that back through the press again, and then you have your print. And there's the word bird on a feather. Not that it's that inspiring, I just sort of used this just as an example. You can sort of write whatever you want on a feather. Cut out shapes, make different patterns. But you can sort of see there's quite a lot of fine detail of the actual feather coming through that. You can see every little line. So I'll just pin this one up with the other ones, just as a comparison. It's a green and blue one that I did before. And so that is printing with feathers. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you in the next video.